Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be talking about storing your information, your file, uh, through you know uh, storage somewhere, a server. We call that cloud computing. Now I have two app, pretty popular. There's others, including Google, comp uh, company of Google. You know Google, also have their own. But the two popular one that a lot of people like, it's called Dropbox right here, and Box.net. Those are pretty good, so let's have a look. Now, notice that my uh, Wi-Fi is on. So they only work if the Wi-Fi is on or if you have a 4G or fast 3G system. Because on my phone, I have a 2G, slow 3G net, net cellular work. Does not, it does not work. It does not allow me to, uh, um, to open up these app. So there you go. You can see... Um, I can see my um, Dropbox uh, over the cloud uh, server so I can just click on it and it works right that's Dropbox pretty friendly the other one's called box.net I'll show you where to get get it it's on uh, Google Play and you can see there is the um, file that I upload to the cloud com computing uh, cloud um, server for the box.net Again, very friendly interface. However, the only thing bad thing I have to say about these two, and I guess with all cloud computing uh, or cloud storage system, is that they don't work on a 2G or slow 3G network. So I have a solution, a very practical, very easy solution. One uh, way to do it, and it's actually much faster in storing your file, uh, is using FTP. FTP is the best way to store your file. It is 10 times faster, I would have to say, than any cloud server, whether it's Dropbox, Box.net, or Google. How do you go about doing that? Well, first of all, you need to have a um, you know, hosting. So I have a hosting through one and one You could use any other hosting. And I have about 250 gig of storage. So you can imagine what I can store. In these Dropbox and uh, Box.net, uh, it's free, but you only allow, I think, maximum 5 to 10 gig. So that's not much. Where on my uh, hosting, on one-on-one, -on -one, I pay about, I believe, um, 60 to $80 a year, but I get 250 gig. I actually, that's where I um, host my web website. But on top of that, I can also store my file. Now, the two app that you would need is called NFTP and or you could use ES File Explorer. The NFTP pretty amazing. I already have the um, my FTP server loaded and, and to my website. Okay. Now I'll show you something. If I turn my Wi-Fi off Okay, this is what I mean by FTP, even work with a cellular network. I, if I turn my Wi-Fi off, I cannot, for example, go to my Dropbox and access my file. You can see, if I click on that, it takes a long period of time. Even though I could see the file, right, I can't get it. It takes too long. Okay, I could be wait here for days, and the same thing happened with. Um, let's see, let's go back to my box. For example, remember I'm going through my cellular network system now, 2G, 3G. So if I click on the PDF file again, open, I can't open it. Let's see seems like okay let's just open it with a browser see it's not working it's just yeah so it's giving me all these things I have to buy and all it's weird okay it doesn't seem to be uh, it doesn't allow me to open but if I go to the FTP through my um, uh, server the hosting server that I have 250 gig I can actually 
connect very fast. Look at that. Boom. Okay, here's all my file I stored under um, um, storage. Let's see. Let's have a look. Um, oops. See, under uh, storage. Where's my storage? Oh, I have to go up. Let's see. Go up. And there it is. Okay, so I have to go up a directory. And they're under storage. You see how fast it is? And that's the same file that I had before. Uh, I put it in a Dropbox. But um, now look, look at this. If I click on it, look at how fast it will upload. Um, let's see. Okay, open. Remember, this is a cellular network system. Look at how, bam, open. There we go. Do you, you see what I'm saying here? The FTP, if you're going to have a cloud storage, I believe the best option, if you're going to use your cellular network, your 2G or 3G or even 4G, the best option is actually using FTP and have a hosting. Cloud uh, uh, storage, neither to any other company, whether it's Google, whether it's Dropbox, whether it's Box.net, doesn't allow you to access it through your um, slow 2G or 3G cellular. It might work for 4G, but for some reason it does not work on my 2G or 3G. Could be my uh, my um, internet provider. Whatever the case is, the FTP always work. I can access it, and it's about ten times faster. I can download a file that's a one or two meg. It will take me about less than ten seconds to upload. So the best option for storage is actually through your own hosting server. You may have to pay maybe four or five dollars a month for maybe you know fifty gig to a hundred gig. Um, of storage and uh, but accessing it is a breeze it's uh, much more convenient than um, using cloud storage and on top of that next time I'll be showing you how to edit your website using FTP um, as well okay I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you where to get the and uh, FTP so you go to Play Store and um, type in Search, okay. Search, type in and A N D D and F T P and there we go. And the app will load up and and there it is. It's called and F T P your F T P client. I already installed it. There's also the pro version which costs five dollars. I think the only diff the difference is that the pro allow you to automatically log into your um, FT FTP server. Anyway, I'm happy with the free version. It's an FTP your FTP client by the company Lysoft or Lysoft. It's over a million hit uh, download already. Very very uh, convenient. A very cool uh, app, especially if you're you have a HTML editor as well, and you have this FTP. You can actually edit your website uh, on a go through. Um, if you know, of course, HTML pro, um, coding, you can actually edit your website on a go, and that's what I did with my website. I could be anywhere editing my website using an HTML editor, and then by uploading and downloading to through um, FTP app like and FTP okay good luck and I hope you enjoy this video educate tube.com